All right, shout out one, shout out one. Shout out one. Before I get started, as always, I would love to say, call all your hobble by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikaku, Dash. Double honors to the elders and the pops of the great millstone. Shout out one to the hopeful elect. Shout out one back at it again on this Monday lunch break camp. You know, and hopefully this lunch break camp is edifying. The, the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh. Who the world inwardly calls God. He has many titles, but only one name, Yahweh, means he exists, he is that he is. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, his son name, who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ, all right? The Heavenly Father's son, true name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the savior or he is the deliverer, same exact thing. And he's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. And who are the Israelites? The Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Spanish, and Native American Indians, are the true Hebrew Israelites. Again, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And of course, you got all people that look like the other nations because you are according to the seed of your father. When you read the book of Numbers, chapter one. All right, so we are the true Hebrew Israelites, Prince of Power, Yahshua, all the sons of God. All right. But anyway. Um, I, hey, look, I just, I just want to start off in that Revelation chapter 13, cause you know this, this, this it never gets old, all right? Cause every week we got to at least speak about this at at least once a week. So hey, I'm gonna start this week off by speaking about the MOTB, the mark, all right? Of the you know what beast. Anyway, it says Revelation chapter 13 verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. What does that mean? Who gonna have power to give life unto the image of the beast? Alright? First and foremost, who is that who? Alright, and who is that he? We have to remember Job chapter 9, verse 24 said that what? The earth was given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the earth. I mean he covered the faces of the just there, but not Reverend who is. Alright. The Lord himself gave this man power to rule. Now who is this man that's gonna try and and um, bring forth his uh, NWO, his new world, you know what order, Esau Edom. All right, the red Hebrew e Edomites, that's what I'm saying, the so-called elites that rule the society. Who are the so-called elites that rule the society? All right, let me show this, because I want to get all the way down to the T. I ain't want to leave nothing out. Let me show the picture, because I can show you and tell you. But I'd rather show you than tell you. Here you go, boom. Who these people look like? And you already know who they is. You know exactly who these people is. Alright? They red Hebrew Edomites. The only nation that was given no, no mercy from the Lord. Let me turn my brightness down because I do not want to kill my battery. So now we have to go right back into that Revelation 13. This book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 15, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to, to give life to the image of the beast. Now the question is, what is the image of the beast? The image of the beast is the system. What system? That the new world order being uh, uh, made in full effect. But see, what people don't know is that we are already in the new world order. How the hell you push lockdowns in the whole entire world? We already in the new order, or order. But what he want to push is the MOTB, which is the RF to the ID to the microchip. That's what he want to push on the whole world. That image, which is that part of the system. So to whom that worship the image of the beast, which is if you down with the system, you. The Lord is going to destroy because you worship the image of the beast, which is the system. And now let's read it the third time. All right, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Yeah, that's right. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which means that what? He has made, which means the prophecy will be fulfilled of this devil making the MOTB mandatory that's him giving life into the image of the beast but how will he do that he can't just tell everybody to take 
the RF to the ID to the microchip in their right hand or in their forehead. He can't just tell everybody to do that. No, he have to submit you. He have to beat you into submission. He have to choke your ass out and what? Make you tap out. He have to make you tap out and say, okay, I do it. But how is he going to do that? He's going to what? Devalue the dollar. You know what I'm saying? He's going to close banks. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Hold on. Y'all know about that Silicon Valley Bank, if I'm saying it right. Let me go to the site. He's going to beat you into submission. How is he going to do that? Mentally. Mentally. He, let's say he going to raise the price of a loaf of bread. Now you got to pay $10 for a loaf of bread. He going to tell you what if you take this chip. A loaf of bread can only cost you two dollars. So I'm saying he's he's gonna say things like, "Matter of fact, let me read this real quick." I got it right here. It says, "U.S. and U.K. authorities are working to prevent wider financial chaos after Friday's collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, the biggest failure of a U.S. bank since 2008." Right. It says, the zombie Biden administration tried to restore, it tried to restore confidence in the American banking system by guaranteeing that SVB customers will have access to all their money. Now you have to, what, always, always keep in mind, all right, sir, you have to always keep in mind that when the scripture says that what? When they shall say what peace and safety, then sudden destruction coming. That's not just talking about people being put to death or a natural disaster. That's talking about a system being destroyed, the banking system, the money system. You know what I'm saying because he's because he's pushing that everything is going to be all right. He's trying to push confidence in the people. Now I'm gonna read that part again. It says that the zombie Biden administration tried to restore confidence, yet tried. When I mean, you tried to do something, that means you is attempting. It says the Biden administration tried to restore confidence in the American banking system by guaranteeing. How the how the hell can you guarantee something that the Lord said that He's gonna what destroy? Oh, hold on, let me fix this. How the hell can you guarantee something that the Lord said himself that he's going to what? Destroy it. Don't make me laugh like Shell Khan. Boy, shut up. It says, The Biden administration tried to restore confidence in the American banking system by guaranteeing that SVB customers will have access to all their money. Alright? Bullshit. Over the weekend, U.S. regulators also shut down Signature Bank. That's another major bank, the Signature Bank. I think that was on, you know, what, New York City, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it, it don't matter. The Signature Bank was another major bank, point blank period. Over the weekend, U.S. regulators also shut down S Signature Bank, a regional bank that was also teetering on the brink of collapse. Now, I'm going to read one more part. It says, Global Banking Giant. HSBC step in overnight to buy SVB UK, securing the deposits of thousands of British tech companies. Why well, read one more? It says Biden plans to emphasize U.S. banking system is safe in his Monday remarks. Yeah, it's so-called safe. Remember when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden discussion come up upon them, which means the collapse of the money, people being put to death, natural disaster. All right. It's not going to be okay. We just hit it. Every time you see the prophets on the highways and byways, byways means countryside, highways means city side. Every time you see the man of the Lord on the highways and byways, that means the Lord is going to bring destruction to a particular place. Destruction is going to be brought on a particular place. So if you see me out here, that means something bad is going to happen in your neck of the woods. Okay? And I'm not bringing it. It's the Lord bringing it. So don't get mad at me. Even though I know you will, but hey, do you hate me because I tell you the truth? I don't give a damn. Now let me get back in Revelation chapter Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. It says, 
and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. How did he have power to give life unto the image of the beast? Because he beat you into a submission. People are not being able to access their money. All, this is a prime example of, well, this bank not closed or shut down, all right? But if you want to access your money, all you got to do is what? Take that MOTB. If you want to access your money, just 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 take the MOTB. You know what I'm saying? In your right hand or in your forehead. You see what I'm saying? It's very easy to what condition people. Same thing with what the uh the uh the uh, jab. All right. Same thing with the jab. You can what beat people into what submission. You can't go to these concerts. You can't get certain jobs. You can't eat inside the restaurant if you don't have the jab. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember these whack ass celebrities pushing the MO? I mean, well, they gonna push that too, but they were saying, man, get jabbed up, man. Or you can't come to my concert. Do y'all not remember that? It's gonna be the same thing with the MOTB. Just like these whack ass celebrities talking about they eat this taco, you know what I'm saying? With the Taco Bell commercials, you know what I'm saying? With the Pizza Hut commercial, the the uh, Papa John's commercial, the McDonald commercials, they use these whack ass celebrities, you know what I'm saying? That got only half the talent of a nigga off the street. You know what I'm saying? A nigga off the street got more talent than on than, than them. You know what I'm saying? They use these whack ass celebrities. They they gonna fast forward, they gonna use them to push the damn MOTB. And they're going to give life into the image. That they're going to say, yeah, man, come worship the system. Come worship this system with me. This steady and shank witchcraft on your ass. Pushing it through the music all of a sudden. You're going to hear a song on the video saying, I got my Michael chip. I don't need no dollars no more. You're you, you going to hear that. Fuck paper. I got the chip. I'm going to scan my hand. You're going to start hearing all kind of shit. Don't be surprised, man. Next verse. No, no, no. Damn, I ain't even finished. Um, back in Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. Talking about what? What I'm just not saying. The image of the beast, which is the system. This man, this this devil, he's going to boast about his system. He's going to boast about a lot of people taking the MOTB. He's going to boast about the celebrities he got set up making these commercials about the MOTB, about them skinning their hand. But see, what you fail to realize is that that thing can get hacked. Matter of fact, what, what had just not got hacked? The damn AT&T, what, what was it, nine, what, uh, nine, what, nine million AT&T people had, hold on. Let me look at that, because that had just not happened two or three days ago. It was two or three days ago, AT&T had got hacked. I think it was nine million customers or something like that. Hold on, bear with me. Let me, let me let me look for it real quick. Hold on, nine million. Nine million AT and T. It says AT and T data breach comp compromise roughly nine million accounts. Look at that. Nine, look, look, here you go, nine million accounts. Look at that shit. See, I had just now look it up. I don't know whether you can see that or not. It's all good. All right, but anyway, now I read it again. It says, AT&T data breach compromises roughly nine million accounts. AT&T ain't got fucking hacked. Vander data breach exposed 9 million customer accounts four days ago. So, okay, so that four days ago. Hackers, it says hackers access personal data from 9 million AT&T customers. So, yo, so, yo, so, yo, microchip that a lot of you people is going to get in your right hand or in your forehead, that thing can, can get hacked. I'm talking about some. You ain't got to worry about people stealing your money or you getting robbed or nothing like that. Well, guess what? Hackers can still hack your money. And guess who's going to be the main hacker? The red Hebrew Edomite himself. 
Now, right? that what rule what the society back in what show chapter 9 verse what 24 all right so now let's get right back into revelation chapter 13 verse 15 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak all right and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast and remember the image of the beast is the sister i'm gonna read that part again and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right so they saying that what just like remember two and a half years ago that they say if you don't take that devil's potion right if you don't take that devil's potion you can't live this time he's saying if you don't if you don't take that MOTB the mark of the you know what beast what he's saying is you is going to be killed if you don't take it so he's going to come hard he's going to come with great wrath knowing that he got but a short time again he gonna come with great wrath knowing that he got but a short time this time he say that night you won't just be able to work but he gonna kill your ass but see that's a bluff that's a bluff same thing with, with the uh jab situation that shit was a bluff all right he's saying he gonna kill you but guess what he ain't gonna kill you all right now who will be killed is some of the prophets they're gonna be martyrs that's that's who's gonna get killed is not all of them but some of the prophets gonna be martyrs all right so you need to understand what you involved in if you calling yourself a what a, 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 a prophet all right and if you don't know what you involved in then then that means you don't know the scriptures because the scriptures always tell you to make your body a living sacrifice but i guess you don't understand that now let's you know use a a, a, a black marker and what scratch that out i'll rip that page out I don't know, you know, false prophets, you know, they, they believe in what they want to believe in. They don't eat the whole rope, but anyway, and they see this as a gathering to come together in this party. This ain't no party. This is serious business. Ain't no party ain't going on in this thing of all. This is serious business. All right? This is more serious than anything. You take this serious. You don't, you don't slack on the Lord's business. No slacking. If you if you slacking, you lacking. If you partying and having fun, you stupid. You don't know what the fuck going on. The serious. You wanna have fun and play and explore more than thorough. You stupid. The serious. It's more serious than anything. Here it is. You you can take a woman serious, but then when it comes to the Lord's work and the Lord's business and the brotherhood, you just wanna play. This ain't no play thing, it's serious. You 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 take the Lord serious. A anything that has to deal with the Lord's work, you take it serious. Your life is on the line, idiot. Anyway, next verse. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. What time it is? Oh, okay. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he calls it all. So he's gonna cause all. Cause he's gonna make the MOTB what mandatory. He calls just like the first time with the jab. He calls all. You know what I'm saying, but the elect didn't take it. This time he gonna do it again. He gonna put more pressure on you. He said you won't be able to buy and sell. But he said that first fucking time. <laughs> he said the first fucking time. But the only difference is it's gonna be even way worse. He gonna put more pressure on you. But the elect gonna be like, man, shut up. But if you was not up the elect, you gonna fold. You're going to bend the knee. You're going to say, okay, I give in. You was going to fold if you take that chip. If you take that chip, you was not up there late. And you cannot repent from that. Continue reading. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great. Whether you got money or you don't. Small countries. All right? Big countries. All right? little inside joke. Poor people, rich people, everybody gonna have to take it. No one will be exempt from this thing. But guess what? The elect will not take it. And the elect, that same, that same man or a woman, is gonna be delivered into a chariot. You having a chip in your, anywhere in your body, you will not be delivered. Point blank. Period. You better read 14. All right. So now it says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor. 
free and blind. If you locked up, are you not? If you a so-called free man, which no one is really free, all are slaves, you really got, first of all, there are slaves that's in a box, and there's slaves that are free to roam. But there's still places that your ass can't go. They'll shoot your ass up. So you really is not free. You is free, but you ain't free. It's like someone say, I see you, but I don't see you. All right? You is not free. You got a social security number. Drive your car without a tag and see what the fuck happened. You get pulled. That tag means that you have permission. And that's not, you need multiple permissions to drive your own damn car. License, insurance, tag. <laughs> Just, you need multiple, uh, uh, multiple per permissions just to drive your own shit. Hey, look, look. Your own shit. They ain't even your shit. Anyway. Back in Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. And he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and blind to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Again, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. They got the little brain thing. They that um you, you can scan. That's real. That ain't fake, idiot. I right, they got the people already got it. The only difference is it has not been made mandatory. So the mark of the you know what beast is already here, which is the MOTV is already here. The RF to the ID to the microchip, that shit is already here. And this idiot, this false preacher, this false prophet got the audacity to say that. The depiction of Yahweh Shai is the image of the beast. Nigga, so you so 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 you mean to tell me it's so stupid I can't even get it out. So you mean to tell me in order to buy and sell you must have the image of the you must have an image of a depiction of Yahweh Shai in order to buy and sell. So this devil is gonna cause everybody small and great, rich and poor, free and bond everybody in order for you to buy and sell you have to take a picture of your house shine now see how stupid these niggas sound bro come on man you sound fucking stupid man damn y'all stupid i don't know which one works man anyway you know you know these false prophets you know that the scripture said that what the hireling care not for the sheep the hound they don't even care for the sheep. Stupid. Stupid. Anyway. Next verse. Revelation chapter 13 verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. Which is the barcode. You got to get scanned. If you ain't got the mark, you can't get scanned, no entering in. Same thing with the jab. But the but the Lord said that well his service is gonna eat right. You're gonna have people that got the RF to the ID to the microchip. You're gonna have people that took that shit that still can't eat. And still can't drink. But you're gonna have people that didn't take the mark. The Lord gonna look out for them. They're gonna be able to eat. And they're gonna be able to drink while, while the rest of y'all be fucking hungry and starving and hurt and looking stupid. <laughs> it's gonna be funny, man. I'm, I'm gonna sit there and laugh. The Lord said, What? We gonna laugh at you just like you had laugh at us. Alright, and you can sit there and talk all the shit you want and say, Man, y'all been saying the same thing for a million years. And yes, I'm exaggerating. The earth fiend, the earth fiend, even 20,000 years. Oh, all right. But anyway, hey, you can sit there and talk your shit and mock and scoff. But just, but just remember, just remember, you going to hear my voice in your head laughing and saying, nigga, I tell you, I told you so, all right? What's not not trying to tell you? You, you, you sitting there getting cooked in a missile or getting mauled by a pack of lions or dogs or bears, whatever the case may be. Your ass jump into a river and a bunch of fishes met your way. It's gonna be a fish this damn big. It's gonna be a fish big as hell. Alright? A hundred fishes 
big as hell this 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 this, this, this memory off your ass instead of this memory off your ass come here Try, all of them trying to slaughter you whole to the point that they say fuck me, we're just gonna bite them. You know what I'm saying? Just instead of just plucking on you. And you was trying to jump out the water there to there to grab you and just would have suck you back in the water. Alright? All you're gonna feel is fins and scales tan your ass up. Then then, then you know, the, you know a, a, a fish eye don't close. All you're gonna see is eyes. You know, jump in the water trying to escape a line. A damn alligator right there waiting on your ass. A shark. Your ass got stained by uh, a damn jellyfish, damn octopus. Gonna stick to the crack of your ass. Alright? Ain't, 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 ain't gonna be nothing your ass can do. A stingray on got you. Somebody on recording, you get killed on TV like the crocodile hunter and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you sitting there trying to escape from one judgment and another judgment no meant your ass not knowing that guess what that was your fate that was your judgment to run from this danger then run from that just for this one that got him got him anyway let me read that again i'm in it revelation chapter 13 verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name which is that barcode if if uh, you don't get it by now look man you just a stupid ass individual you just stupid that barcode all right that barcode 666 all right but anyway don't you take that motb don't you take that mark we don't tell you don't you take that damn jab so i'm gonna go ahead and end it hopefully this monday lunch break camp lesson was edifying I'm going to end it out by saying, call all your happy about Shem, I was shy by Hashem, we call Kudash. The one is two days in the past, so a great mess, don't shout one, two, the whole for a lake, child of one. Go ahead and head back, take care of more business. We out here.